Hi Semper, welcome to Frenchie's video. Well, today I'm going to show you, it's almost a repeat from last week, but I learned at convention that those little dust rag for the coordination uh, paper, it worked wonderful. And when I saw that in the catalog, I bet you thought the same thing than me. It looked just like a cheesecloth. It's not just a cheesecloth. It's kind of sticky and the smell is very strange. <laughs> But it's nothing to do with the smell, what it's going to do. It's the the way it's sticky, it absorbs everything. So, I'm going to show you, this is the the three new um, embossing folder in the mini. You get the wood grain, and then you get uh, the frame. I call it the frame, but it's a uh, holiday frame. That's what it is. And then you get the lacy brocade that is this one here. So I did one in each color. That's what I'm sending with um, my paper share that I'm doing on my blog. So what you're going to do is pass it in your big shot. And when you pass it in your big shot, let me show you quick. Um, you're going to open all the tabs. So tab one, tab two, it's open. You put your clear plate, then you put your um, embossing folder with your paper. But when you put your paper, I suggest that one side, it's kind of rough, it's kind of texture. That one you want it face up. You put it in your folder, you put your clear plate on top, roll it through. And voila, you get your embossing done. Then the next step, that's where that, and like I said, I did video and I won't erase the video. I'm still going to share it. It's just that uh, that dust cloud, I think it's a great, uh, great add-on to add. It comes in a pack. It's only one, but it's very long and it's very sticky. So when you get it, just open it up and then cut pieces for it. You see, it's quite a bit long. I'm not sure the length. I cut three piece and I still have plenty. So let me move this aside here. Okay, what I'm going to do first is take my um, sand block and the sand block you can remove the the sandpaper so you can switch them and what I'm going to do me is save one for my red one for the the green so and I'm going to place that in a ziplock bag with my dust rack so this way I'm going to have a green and a red and I won't mix all my colors I don't know if it would stain if you use the same color I didn't try it so so what you're going to do, it's sand. This is the wood grain with the, the early espresso. And just sand it. See all, whoops, the dust that it, it made. Okay, now I used to take a, a rag and just wipe it. Well, if you take your, the, I call it a cheesecloth. It's not a cheesecloth. It's that dust rock. It's just... <laughs> dust rag just wipe it and look it take everything loose that you had on your paper then you see my mess here I think it focused there you just go here and look it take everything off so then you don't have that dust all flying everywhere and it clean perfectly and with the green I won't switch nothing we're going to see if it's thin or not I don't think so but we're going to try it here we go. See, it's very quick to do. Just wipe this, then take your rag, the dust cloth, and look, it grab everything. And then you can, this one was in two little pieces. You can just shake it off in the trash. See how awesome this little piece is? So that's why I wanted to do a video and explain a little bit more on the dust rag. Uh, dust cloth I think it's called dust buddy it's called the dust buddy because this way it's going to help a lot of picking all the little things 
while I get you here, this video, it was so quick. I'm going to show you some quick sample that I did with that paper. See how pretty it is? It feels like it's almost like that wall, that flock wallpaper. Very, very smooth. And here's the wood grain. And then I get one here in the red all done. See how pretty it is? Well, my friend, this is it. Hope you learned something new with that uh, dust cloth, and like I said, it's a great add-on for the coordination paper. Till next.